While in New Zealand, MCA program is still awaiting clearance from Cabinet Committee on Security. Pakistan Aeronautical Complex has signed a contract with Turkish Aerospace Industries for Khan Stealth Aircraft that includes joint development of different airworthy equipment and fostering technological know-how exchange. And multiple subsystems of the Khan will be manufactured in Pakistan. With the addition of Pakistan and Azerbaijan in the Turkish Khan, the stealth aircraft is all set to conduct its first flight in December 2023. The Indian Navy has finalized plans to establish a dedicated Rafale training squadron at INS Hunza in Goa that will allow for seamless Rafale integration with existing naval aviation infrastructure and training facilities. Out of the 26 Rafale Marine, four will be twin-seater variant, that will allow trainee pilots to familiarize themselves with the aircraft advanced systems and weaponry, and will be instrumental in honing the skills of fighter pilots. The Department of Military Affairs is working towards creating a new system, under which maintenance of common weapon systems and platforms like the Rafale Aircraft Apache Helicopter and Predator Armed Drones will be done jointly by the armed forces, that will help in joint maintenance of the fleet and can help in improving the management of spares and other equipment, and will also help in savings. The Army has already posted its personnel to Indian Air Force units to train on Apache attack helicopters, while the Indian Navy has also selected the Rafale, which is also operated by the Indian Air Force. The Indian Air Force had shelved the purchase of the American NASAMS due to high cost, and showed interest in an indigenous alternative for the security of high-value assets in the National Capital Region. The DRDO-developed VLSR SUM has now emerged as a viable alternative for the Air Force requirement, and the DRDO will now develop a mobile missile launcher that can be mounted on trucks, and a 3D surveillance radar to effectively track potential targets. After delivering three natural loitering munitions to the Indian Army, Private sector firm Z Motion Autonomous Systems has started talks with the Indian Army and the Indian Air Force to develop a new variant of loitering munitions that will be powered by a small turbojet engine with a thrust range in between 0.3 and 0.8 kN. It will be able to carry a significantly larger explosive warhead, and its enhanced propulsion system will double its range to over 30 km. Indian firm Skyhawk Aerospace has launched its indigenously designed fixed-wing vertical takeoff and landing multi-role UAVs, named Pushpak and C-35E. The Pushpak UAV is specifically designed for high-altitude cargo operations, while the C-35E is an advanced multi-purpose fully electric UAV designed for border control cargo delivery and offshore operations. Indian Navy's Dornier Maritime Patrol aircraft and an Indian Air Force C-130 transport aircraft has made a historic visit to Australia's Cocos Islands, that have long been recognized as a location with immense potential as a military base. This comes at a time when both countries are actively seeking to expand their maritime security cooperation and extend their influence in the Indo-Pacific region. Oh, my God.